Now, for some of you guys who have been following Full Drive Super Center and Adventure Kings for a fair while now, you might recognize me as the bloke that does the majority of the cooking while we're out camping on trips. And I'm not mad about that at all. I absolutely love cooking while we're out at camp. And I always tend to think, and I'm sure most of you will probably agree, that food always tastes better while you're out camping. Now with that in mind, I thought I'd take you guys on a trip down memory lane and show you guys my top three favorite camp cooking meals that I've cooked up for the boys over the years. They're super quick and easy to do, but more importantly, they're super, super delicious and I guarantee your mouth is gonna water. Now some of you guys might remember, a couple of years back, Khan and I hosted a fridge giveaway competition where we got you guys to send in some simple but delicious camp meals. We then picked out which one we frothed over the most and gave that lucky winner a 60 litre King's fridge. Now the way Khan and I kicked that competition off was with our very own recipe, which of course was roast beef on damper rolls with rum gravy. Now for this meal we only used three bits of camp cooking gear, a Baduri camp oven, the King's rotisserie and a cast iron skillet pan. We used a pre-marinated roast to save time, then we added some salt and pepper and let it sit in some rum for a few hours before we chucked it on the rotisserie over some hot coals. Now to make the damper, we used a relatively generic recipe with a few splashes of beer. If you're not sure how to make damper, it's super simple and I reckon you definitely need to have a crack. All you'll need is about three cups of flour, 80 grams or so of butter, and about a cup of milk. Chuck the flour into a bowl, then add the butter and knead it together with your fingers until it becomes the consistency of breadcrumbs. Then you can slowly start to add your milk and a few splashes of beer if you like. Once it's all mixed together and it's no longer sticky to the touch, you can let it sit for about 10 minutes. Then separate it into burger roll size proportions, chuck them in the Baduri camp oven, put it on the fire and cover the lid with coals. Now to make the gravy, Khan used a generic gravy mix tin, but then added rum for a bit of extra flavor. Now, to be honest with you guys, if I was to do this recipe again, number one, I wouldn't leave Khan in charge of making gravy, especially when alcohol is an ingredient. And number two, I would dial back the amount of rum that Khan put into the mix, because my God, it damn near knocked the camera crew socks off. Once the roast was all done, we let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. We sliced the damper rolls in half and made some of the best roast beef rolls I've ever had, with of course, the delicious rum gravy on top. It was simply unreal, despite the fact that we used way too much rum in the gravy mix. Now, funnily enough, this next recipe was the actual winner of the fridge competition I just mentioned. I believe the bloke's name was Josh, and I still can't thank him enough for sending this recipe in. Since the first time I cooked this, I reckon I must have done it at least half a dozen times and it's always a camp favourite. And speaking of competitions, the team and I just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone out there who has subscribed to our channel. You guys are the reason we're able to keep posting awesome content for your enjoyment. So if you want us to run more competitions like the one I just mentioned, go ahead and like and subscribe and leave us a comment down below and let us know if you reckon we should run more competitions. Now back to the recipe. For this recipe, we basically seasoned a few racks of pork ribs with salt and pepper and a bit of a barbecue rub. We then let them sit in the fridge overnight to make sure all of that flavor was right through the ribs. We then sat the ribs inside of an Aussie camp oven. Now this next step might freak some of you out, but trust me, it is absolutely unreal. Grab a bottle of Coke and pour it into the camp oven so the ribs are almost completely submerged. Whack the lid on, sit the camp oven over some hot coals, cover the lid with hot coals and let it sit for about four or five hours. During that time, Dave and I went for a fish and as my luck would have it, we caught absolutely nothing. Once the ribs were just about falling off the bone, we then sat the campfire barbecue plate over the top of the fire, then started charring the pork ribs while basting them with smoky barbecue sauce. Trust me guys, my mouth is watering just talking about it. And last but certainly not least, we have some smoked scotch fillets in the King's Vertical Offset Smoker. This cookup was more recent than the previous two and was actually my first time using the King's Vertical Offset Smoker while we're on a trip up near Tamworth. All I did for this recipe was season the scotch fillets with some salt and pepper, then we chucked them into the smoke box for about half an hour until we hit an internal temperature of about 75 degrees, which is just before medium rare. I then pulled them out and let them rest for about 15 to 20 minutes before serving them up with some veggies. Now I reckon if the boys had to pick one of these cookups to be their absolute favorite, this one would have to be up there. Another thing you could do for this recipe is after the steaks have rested is you could reverse sear them by either chucking them directly onto the coals or sear them off with a cast iron skillet pan with some butter. So there you go guys, those are my top three favorite camp meals that I've cooked up over the years. As you can see, the dogs finally come and join me. But uh, 
Again, it was almost impossible to narrow this down to just three, but it came down to how simple and easy and delicious they were to cook. Now, if you guys want us to run more competitions like I mentioned earlier, then go ahead and leave us a comment down below because we're dead keen to give them a go. And while you're at it, if you reckon you've got an awesome campfire meal that I need to try, go ahead and leave the recipe down there for me too because I'm dead keen to give them a go. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. You're absolute legends. And if you haven't already, feel free to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on any awesome content we've got coming up. Cheers.